spiked partridges. <laughs> He wouldn't fly. <laughs> ah, that's the only one. Hear the partridge? Well, anyway, guys, today is the 18th, and uh, I just come out today. I want to get a meal of parmigan, and uh, I also want to do some updates, you know, on the channel. Uh, Jesus, so much stuff, you know, I hardly knows where to start, but, uh, but I guess I'll start with trapping is, uh, I had to pull most of my, uh, traps because, uh, right now in Goose Bay, the schools are only open every second day, and, uh, you know, it really limits you on what you can do, and it's gonna be like this, uh, probably uh, another week or so, maybe even longer if we keep getting snow like we is, but, uh, but anyway, that's a little bit disappointing, but, uh, some places now, I just shrunk the traps up and left them there, and uh, if the school opens again soon, I may reset them. So, this one here is not, uh, not a real fat, that one. But, uh, well, you know, it doesn't take long to pick them, you know, when they're warm, and once they cool down, it cools down, uh, it gets harder to pick. So, so if you make it a habit now of uh, just picking them, you know, as you kill them, uh, don't take very long to get into it, you know? Well guys, I also uh, missed the moose hunt there with my buddy, uh, I just couldn't go because where the schools was closed every second day, uh, he ended up getting his moose, you know, that would have made a nice video, you know, uh, a winter moose hunt in Labrador, so uh, disappointed I never got to go, but I guess that's all you can do with that. And uh, actually not long after I got back from the Christmas holidays there, the, the father-in-law and mother-in-law went back over to Adlevik for a do a bit of fishing and uh, he went on up there to uh, to Southbrook there where we was fishing there during the Christmas holidays and when he was drilling a hole two wolves uh, come out through the woods there just uh, about 50 feet from him and anyway he ended up uh, shooting the two wolves so so I, he took that trap up there after because that's the two that was hanging around the area there anyway and uh, what I'm going to do, I think at the end of this video, I'm going to try to get some pictures and uh, of the moose and wolves and stuff and uh, just, put, just put them at the end of the, the video. Well, got another one picked and uh, I'm just picking them for now and it's pretty cold out so uh, they won't hurt and I'll gut them once I go back because I don't want to get my hands full of blood in, in these cold temperatures. I think it was minus 28 or something when I left, but it got milder since that, just the same. I think it's supposed to go, I don't know, minus 15 or so today. So, so anyway, uh, keep moving on. Hopefully we get another one before too long. Well guys, I got a, a spruce grouse this time, and uh, you know the skin on the spruce grouse is uh, not as tough as on the parmigan, so especially up around this area here, you really got to be careful sometimes, and just take like a, a little few feathers to a time, just be gentle with them, and even then sometimes they tear kind of easy, and if it tears a lot, well it pretty much just skins them off then, but if you take your time just up around this area here, just a little few feathers, don't grab too many to a time. And that's his crop right there, and then, but as you go back, you can get a little, uh, little more aggressive, I guess. And uh, I'll tell you, now I'm, that's a skinny bird too. You know, it seems like the birds are very skinny. I don't know if it's all these storms were after heaven, or you can't feed good or what. Well, and now you're coming down line soil, but on the back, the skin is really tough, and you could just go retour back there and just hawk on the herd. But the main, up around this area is the, is the hardest, and it gets easier from that. Boy. Oh god, it's cold. 
Oh shit. Anyway guys, that's uh, two more there. They'll look nice in the old cast iron pot for sure. And guys, uh, for some upcoming videos, uh, pretty soon me and a little fella, we're going to head her down to Williams Harbor and uh, I'm hoping to get the speed without doing a little bit of seal hunting and that. And uh, I'll be doing more parmigan hunting and uh, rabbit snaring later on. And uh, I'll definitely be getting out doing some uh, smilt fishing and trouting. Uh, I actually got a product sent me uh, from a company to do a field test. And uh, actually, I'll probably, I think I might even get that today. So uh, I'm not going to say too much about that, but. Uh, You'll see me testing that pretty soon as well, and uh, I had another product promised me as well, and uh, when I get it, of course, I'll uh, show it in some videos. So, so anyway, well, uh, right now, like I said, the, the school is uh, day on and day off right now, and it'll probably continue for another week like that. So, uh, it could be longer if we get another batch of snow. So, uh, so all of these uh, things I got planned, kind of. Depends on what goes on with the school as well. So, so but anyway, uh, always keeping busy. There's always something to be doing and, and filming. So, uh, so just stay tuned, I guess. <laughs> right on. So anyway, uh, that's real good. Now I think this is six, eight, eight willow and a spruce grouse so far today. So that's pretty good. Uh, only want to come in and get enough for a couple of meals. So I got the. Three, four meals now, anyway, so that's really good. So, uh, I guess it'll be parmigan soup tomorrow. I tell you, the shore looks nice once you're picked off. Touch them up a bit after I go home, you know, but the main thing is get the breasts off, and the rest comes easy after. <laughs> 